This is a one hour vinyasa practice. We're gonna start in child's pose near the back of the mat. And then start to send your breath down into the back of the body. So all the way down into your kidneys and create expansiveness there. So sort of targeting the adrenal glands, the quadratus lumborum muscle, yeah. And know that anytime during this practice, if this is where you want to stay, if this is where you want to come and hang out, feel free, okay? You modify in ways that you need to modify that feel right for you, and then you listen to me second. And this whole practice is about listening to our body. It's about learning the language, right? What's too much? What's not enough? When is there room to push? And when do we need to back off? But that language is subtle, soft, sometimes almost unperceptible. So we need to stay quiet, we need to stay focused, and we need to check in. Beginning to deepen the breath here, allowing the breath to pull your focus inward and then check in with yourself. How are you doing? What does this practice need to be for you today? Does it need to be an anchor? Does it need to ground you? Right? Do you need to move your body? Do you need to flush and process? Or do you need to connect back into that strength, that power? Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale. Deep breath in again, fill up. Exhale, clear it out. Deep breath in. Breath out. Seal the lips, breathe in through the nose. Ujjayi breath, if that's part of your practice. And then with your hands reaching forward, press your palms into the ground, feel the elbows lift and slide your way to all fours, tabletop. Knees under the hips here, toes tucked or untucked. Hands are underneath the shoulders, spread your fingers and grip your finger pads in towards your mat so the hands start to wake up. Cat cow, inhale, arch. Lift the chest, lift the gaze, eyes close. Exhale to round. And if the eyes close ever feels like too much, know that you can keep them open, but soft gaze. Uh, inhale, find that cow, nice and slow. And exhale, cat. And then just continue to move here. Add in anything you need. Shifting the weight side to side, barrel rolling the chest. And without judgment or criticism of like, oh, this is tight or like, whoa, I need to stretch this area. Instead, just feel, feel with curiosity. How does it feel to move in my body? In the next two to three breaths, make your way to down dog. Take anything you need along the way. And then once you get to down dog, move, feel, breathe.
Start to walk your feet towards your hands. Come to that forward fold at the front of your mat. Feet hip width. Soften the knees. And let the crown of your head go. Shake your head from side to side. Take an exhale here, empty. And then roll up to stand. Push into your feet, slide the shoulders down the back. Tadasana, mountain pose. Connect back in, listen, hear, respond. With feet wide or big toes touching, chair pose next time you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, breath in. Step that right foot to the back of the mat, lower your right knee. Wait for the inhale, sweep those hands up and overhead, biceps to ears. Exhale, down dog, plant the palm, step your left foot back beside your right. Inhale, come forward, plank or kneeling plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your mat. Gaze slightly forward, cobra. Lift the chin, the chest, the heart. And exhale to soften. Again, like that lift up, chin, chest rises. Exhale, soften. Legs strong, inner thighs hug one last time, lift up. And exhale, soften. Down dog, make your way. Use your knees as you need to. Lengthen through the spine, press through the palms. Use the breath, come back to the body. Bring your big toes together, back of the mat with an inhale breath, sweep that right heel high. Exhale, step your right foot to your right thumb, back left knee down. Inhale, reach those hands up and overhead, low lunge, Anjaniyasana. Exhale, forward fold, step the left foot beside the right. Rise up to stand, push into your feet, reach up. Hands to prayer in front of your heart. Chair pose, Utkatasana, bend the knees, sweep the hands up, forward. Exhale to bow. Half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step your left foot back. Lower your left knee. Reach your hands up and overhead. Squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, down dog. Step that right foot back. Come forward, plank or kneeling plank. And as you exhale, lower half or all the way. Lift your heart, press your palms into the mat, squeeze those inner thighs, hug them in. Exhale, down dog, big toes touch. Sweep your left leg up, back, inhale. Step your left foot to your left thumb, back, knee down. Reach your hands up and overhead, hug those low ribs and belly strong. Exhale, step forward and fold. Rise up, reach up, inhale. Hands to prayer in front of your heart, exhale. Chair pose, either feet hip width or big toes touch, hands sweep. Exhale, prayer twist to the right, connect your palms, hook your left elbow. Come back through center, stay low, gaze forward. 
twist to the left, hook your right elbow. Reach your hands up, forward breath in. Twist to the right. Reach your hands up, inhale. Twist to the left. Reach your hands up, forward, lift the corners of your mouth, feels so good. Exhale, fold. Half lift, long spine. And with an exhale breath, step your left foot to the back of the mat and lower your left knee down. Reach your hands up and overhead. And then catch a hold of your left wrist with your right hand and side bend to the right. Should feel a nice stretch here through the left side waist into the left hip flexor. Breathe into your left lung. Next inhale, rise back up, release the grip on the wrist. Exhale, prayer twist. Connect your palms, left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. You choose here, back toes stay tucked or fire up that back leg. And then everyone push your top right palm into the left. Use that leverage to spiral from the abdomen, heart towards the thumb tips. And soften the jaw, soften the gaze, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Again, like that inhale. Feel your body, feel your breath, exhale. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Last one here, inhale. Release your palms, plank pose. Step your right foot back. Now these can be done from your knees or keep the legs lifted. We're gonna come even further into a push-up. So press your hands down, feel the upper back puff up with an inhale breath, and then come back to neutral as you exhale so the chest lowers between the shoulders. Breath in, push up higher. Breath out, back to neutral. Push up higher to neutral. Press up higher to neutral. Press up higher, big breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower half or all the way. Lift your heart, your chest, your gaze. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in through the nose here. Out the mouth, let it go. Take your right leg, lift it up back as you inhale. Bend your right knee, stack, open the hip as you exhale. Find that big stretch for the front of the right thigh here. Take a deep breath in. And then step your right foot to your right thumb, breath out. Warrior two, spin your back heel down and in. Bring a block to the inside of your right foot. Just leave it there and then cartwheel the arms and rise up. Left arm back, right arm forward. Check out your feet, heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. And then turn your thumbs to point up, okay? Tuck your thumbs into the palms of your hands and then gather the fingertips to close that thumb in. And then from here, we're just gonna tilt the wrists down. So the pinky fingers come closer to the underside of the forearm and then bring it back up. So you should feel a stretch, tip it on the top of your right forearm and your left forearm. Tip it down and up, tip down and up. We're just gonna keep moving like that. Sink a little deeper into the front knee, guiding that knee towards the pinky toe, and then close your eyes. One more like that, stretching for the wrist. Take a deep breath in, full breath out. 
Release the thumb, straighten the right leg as you inhale. Kick your left hip back, reach your right arm forward and down, triangle pose. Hand can land on that block if you've got one or fingertips to the shin or the earth. Yeah, and then squeeze your feet towards each other. Lengthen through the underside of the waist, so right waist, and then turn your heart up towards the ceiling. Ujjayi breath. Last two. Good, look down. Bend into your right knee, side angle pose. You're gonna turn your right fingertips to point towards your back left foot. Hand, palm, right palm on that prop or on the earth if you've got that flexibility to go that deep. Yeah, and you're just gonna enjoy that wrist stretch now for that right arm, right wrist. Left hand is getting tired, shoulder tired. Take that half bind and wrap your left arm behind you, grabbing the outside of the right hip or that right thigh. Last breath here. Exhale, let it go. Heel toe, walk your back foot in a little closer. Half moon, take that block with you if you need. Right fingertips in front of right toes. Lift and stack that left hip up. Left arm can reach for the ceiling, maybe right hand to the chest, palm to the chest. Breathe. Next exhale, forward fold, let it go. Left foot down, hands down. Take an inhale, find lift, length through the chest. Flutter the lips as you fold here. Rise up to stand, reach overhead, inhale. Hands to prayer in front of your heart, exhale. Chair pose, big toes touch, your feet wide, hands sweep. Twist to the left this time first, right elbow hooks outside of left thigh. Sweep the hands forward up, sitting low, breathe in. Prayer twist to the right. Sweep it up, back, inhale. Prayer twist to the left. One more time, sweep up, inhale. Twist to the right. Sweep forward, up, sit low, breathe in. And fold, breathe out. Half lift, inhale. Step your right foot to the back of the mat. Exhale, lower your right knee. Sweep your hands up and overhead as you breathe in. Catch your right wrist with your left hand and side bend to the left. Hug your front heel and your back knee so those inner thighs are strong. Squeeze your glutes and then breath into the right lung. Next inhale, rise back up, release the grip on the wrist. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Hook your right elbow outside your front thigh. Back knee stays down, or if you did so on the other side, straighten that back right leg. Push your palms together, slide the shoulders away from the ears, and from your belly, twist your heart towards the left wall. Four breaths here.
Next exhale, plank pose, plant the palms, step that left foot back. Option to bring the knees down. We're gonna do those extra push-ups. These are to strengthen the serratus anterior muscles on the outside of our ribs. So here, inhale, push up even further. Exhale back to neutral. Push up further. Neutral. Press up. And lower. Press up. And lower. Last one, push up. Lower half or all the way, bend your elbows. Lift your heart, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog, big toes touch. Sweep your left leg up back, inhale. Bend your left knee, stack open that hip. Sweet stretch for the front of that left quad here. Take it in. And as you exhale, step your left foot to your left thumb. Warrior two, spin your back right heel down. Block comes to the inside of your front left foot. And then cartwheel your arms and rise. Right arm back, left arm forward. Turn your thumbs up. A little different than we did last time, okay? So this time I want you to take your fingertips in towards the palms of your hands. And then the thumb comes to the outside. We're gonna take the movement up. So the top of your hands, the thumb area, is gonna tip up towards the top of your forearms and then neutral. Tip it up, neutral, up, neutral, up, neutral. And then keep it going just like that. We're stretching the underside of the wrist. We're also strengthening the abduction in the wrist muscle. Good, next inhale, release the hands, straighten your left leg. Exhale, tip that right hip back, left arm reaches forward and down, triangle pose, trikonasana. Land that bottom hand on the block or the earth. Yeah. Take the gaze either down to the right or all the way up to the ceiling. That top hand, that top shoulder is getting tired, you can find that half bind again. And then feel here, connect back in. What is this experience? What does the shape feel like in my body? Next exhale, look down, bend into your left knee. Left hand comes to the inside of that foot onto the block of the earth. Take your left fingertips, point them to the back of your mat. Seal that palm, soften into that left elbow. And then open your heart up, roll that top right shoulder back. Side angle variation with a wrist stretch. Press into the outer edge of your back foot. You've got this, two more breaths. Stay here. Release the wrist stretch, half moon. Heel toe, walk your back right foot in. Left fingertips come in front of the left toes. Stack that right hip, reach your right arm up. Option for left palm to come to the heart. Next exhale, forward fold, right foot steps, hands to the earth. Take an inhale, lift, lengthen the spine. Flutter the lips and fold. Rise up to stand, hands to the ceiling, big breath in. Hands to prayer in front of your heart, breath out. Release your hands beside your hips, feel, breathe.
Mm. Next inhale, chair pose. Feet together or feet hip width. Hands will sweep on the inhale breath. And then we're gonna twist to the left. Prayer twist, palm stack and stay. So right elbow pushes into the outer left thigh. Gaze down over your toes. Now lift your right heel up. Feel the weight shift fully into your left foot. And then send your heart forward. So the weight starts to shift towards the front of your mat and then lift your right leg, bring the heel towards your bum. And slowly as you shift the weight forward, feel that right leg get nice and long as you reach it towards the back of your mat. Landing into that lunge twist. From here, back knee can come down to support. Option to open the arms, half bind, full bind. You've got five breaths. Okay, next inhale, lift your chest, your torso up off that front leg. Right arm is gonna reach forward, left arm back, and then take your left hand to the back of your right thigh and sweep your front right arm up. Gaze over that left shoulder. Nice stretch for the right side of the waist here. Take one big breath in and then release, cartwheel that right hand down, plant it. Kickstand side plank or full side plank. Heel to walk your left foot in front of your hips. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot or stack that left leg on top. Reach your top arm forward. Push your hips up. Breathe. Claw your right finger pads into the mat. Engage that right shoulder on the back. Take one more big breath in. Plank pose, lower all the way to your belly. Roll onto your back. Grab a hold of your block, place it between your thighs. On its lowest width, but you see how that feels, yeah? And then press your low back into the ground and take your hands and interlace them behind your head. Now the head can stay down on the earth. You'll just focus on the legs if you're doing that. And then let's straighten those legs up. Reaching the toes towards the ceiling. Squeeze that block, squeeze those inner thighs. Inhale, lift your chin chest. Inhale, lift your tail. Inhale, lift your chest. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, come on back down. Inhale, chin, chest. Inhale, tail lifts. Inhale, squeeze the block. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, lower. Inhale, chin, chest. Tail, thighs. Higher, exhale. You got this. Chin, chest, tail, thighs. Everything higher, exhale. Chin, tail. Inner thighs, everything higher. Exhale, Whew. we got two more, you got this. Chin, tail, thighs, higher. Exhale, chin, tail, thighs, higher. Exhale, release the block, knees to the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Okay, straighten the legs, roll back onto the belly. Cobra or up dog will meet in down dog. Good, in down dog, let's lift those heels, take a big breath in. Look forward, bend your knees, walk, hop, step front of the mat. Lift, lengthen the spine as you inhale. 
Forward fold, exhale. Lift and lengthen the spine here, breathe in. And then lift your heels high, come to the balls of your feet, bend your knees and bring your bum to sit on your heels, toe squat. Hands can stay on the earth for now, or hands come to prayer in front of your heart. Woo. Even through the difficulty, right? Even through the struggle, can you listen? Can you feel? Keeping those heels lifted, you're gonna stand up nice and slow. Once those legs are straight, maybe the hands reach up and overhead. Maybe you close your eyes. What have you got to lose? Exhale, Tadasana. Heels down, hands down. Take a deep breath in, fill up. Full breath out. Chair pose, inhale, sweep the hands forward. Prayer twist to the right, hook your left elbow. Stay here, gaze down over the toes. Weight shifts into your right foot. Lift your left heel and then press your heart forward. Feel the weight shifting into the right front foot and then lift your left heel towards your bum. Keep sending the heart forward as you stretch that left leg back and then land the left toes or just meet us in a lunge twist. Back knee can come down, hands open, half bind, full bind, same variation you did on the other side. Five breaths, you got this. Next inhale, we're gonna rise up through the chest here, spreading the arms, right hand comes to the back of the left thigh, left arm reaches up. Breathe into that front psoas on the left side, take a deep inhale, and then release, left hand plants down, exhale, kickstand, side plank or full vashistasan, same as you did on the other side. Right foot in front or right foot stacked. Top arm reaches forward. Claw your left fingertips into the mat. That bottom hand is strong. Inner thigh squeeze. Take a deep breath in. Stay here, breath out. Plank pose as you inhale. Lower half or all the way, exhale. Chaturanga Nasana. Lift your heart, shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Option for child's pose. We're gonna stay here for about four breaths. Down dog, all together if you chose rest. And down dog, big toes touch. Lift your heels on an inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, walk, hop, step in front of the mat. Inhale, find length. Exhale to fold. Find length as you inhale, lift those heels up. And then bend your knees and sit your bum back on your heels, toe squat. Squeeze your inner thighs. Imagine that block was there. Maybe bring your hands towards prayer. Stay here exactly as you are. This is perfect. Or Krama 2, you're going to twist to the right. Hook your left elbow outside your front right thigh. This might be a lot. Stay here, or if you've got the arm balance in your practice, this is where we've been working towards side crow. Hands are gonna come to the right of you, fingertips pointing away, bending your elbows, 
land your right hip to your right elbow, land your knees to your left elbow. And then just like we did in chair, send your heart forward and feel the weight lift up the toes and the legs. Broaden through your chest here. Any variation you'd like to explore. Three more breaths. Making your way back to that prayer twist. Coming out, bringing the hands towards the heart. You got this straight into the other side. Twist to the left. Hook your right elbow outside your front thigh. Squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze the heels. Stay here or arm balance. Other side, left side. Yeah, so hands come down to the outer left. I'll face this way this time. Elbows bend, I'm creating a shelf. Land the left hip, land the knees, and then I'm sending my weight forward. Think chair pose, feet lift. Any variation, last two to three breaths. Good. And then slowly come back. Let's forward fold. Take your feet a little wider than hip width. Maybe sway from side to side a little bit. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Lift, lengthen your spine, inhale. And then fold, exhale. Plant the palms, either vinyasa or straight back to down dog. Take your right leg, sweep it up, back, and down dog. Step your right foot outside your right hand. Lizard lunge, lay your back, left knee down. You can take that block if you've got one, bring it underneath the forearms. Yeah, maybe forearms onto the mat. And then just breathe into those hips. option to find a bit of a different deeper variation if you'd like to come with me so left hand plants under the left shoulder right arm reaches back bend your left thigh left knee and catch your right foot option to come down onto your left forearm option with your left hand if you're on your forearm to grab the front of your right ankle and again, these are all just options, so you do you. Three more breaths. Okay, let's release three-legged dog. Sweep that right leg up, bend the knee, stack, open that hip, maybe do a circle or two here. Land the right toes, and then let's do the other side. So sweep that left heel up. Step that left foot to the outside of the left hand. Lower your back, right knee. Lizard lunge, find your depth, and then connect to your breath.
And if you want to go for that deeper, different variation, right palm plants, bend your right knee, catch your right foot. Option to come down onto the right forearm. And if you're down on the forearm, option to take your right hand to the front of your left ankle. Next exhale, release, three-legged dog. Shoot that left leg up high. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Little circle through that knee. And then land the left toes. And bring your knees down. So if you've got sensitive knees, you can fold the mat towards you once or twice, and then just set your knees on. We're gonna take a round of camel, okay? So let's grab that block. So if you've got something or a rolled up towel, you're gonna to place it between your inner thighs, say so just like we've been doing. And then rise up, stand up on your knees. So this first set, you're gonna take your hands to prayer in front of your heart, thumb tips to the sternum. Toes are tucked under, drive your knees down, squeeze that block, and then lift your heart up into your thumb tips and curl from your upper chest back. Lift yourself back up, untuck your toes, come to sit on your heels. Hands to your thighs, roll your shoulders up towards your ears, back and down. Roll them up, back and down. Again like that, up, back and down. Take a deep inhale. Full exhale. Stay exactly as you are seated or join me for a second set. Toes tucked, block between the inner thighs. This time, either hands to prayer working on the core or taking the hands towards the low back, fingertips pointing down, uh, palms to the sacrum. So right where that Lululemon logo sort of sits on the pants. And then you're gently gonna squeeze that block, lift your heart up, roll the shoulder blades down your back, and then start to curve from the upper spine. If you're grabbing your ankles, grab at the exact same time so there's no twisting of the lumbar. Keep a gentle hug of the chin towards the chest so that you're not compressing the nerves in the back of the skull and also strengthening those neck muscles. Next inhale, at the same time, if your hands are on the ankles, they lift up, untuck the toes, come to sit on the heels, hands to the thighs. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Remove the prop, place it just off to the side. You can take away any uh, sort of stacking of the mat here. And then let's just do a gentle seated twist to the left. So that right hand is gonna come to the outer left knee. Left fingertips either cup the low back or Reach down towards the mat and then just twist your heart to the left. Press up through the crown of your head, heavy your right hip down, and then breathe into your body. Feel.
Next inhale, come on back to center, and then let's twist the other side. Left hand to the outer right leg, right fingertips behind you, either cup the low back or fingertips to the earth if you can reach. Lengthen up through the spine here, press up through the crown of your head, and then close your eyes. Breathe. Next inhale, come on back to center. Okay, so I want us to take a bit of an inversion here. So you're gonna have three options. So the first option is gonna be headstand if that's in your practice. So from here, just bringing the forearms down, landing the head, lifting the legs. Shoulder stand is your second option. So come on to the back. That's where we're gonna meet anyways. And if you want just a more restorative variation, you can either do legs up the wall if you've got a wall handy, yeah? Or you can place a block underneath your bum and then lift your legs up, okay? So shoulder stand, Vaprita Karani legs up, or headstand or an inversion of any kind that's part of your practice. You're gonna take 10 breaths and then we're gonna meet on our backs, okay? If you're in one of the active variations, find that invisible block between your thighs and keep hugging the legs together, pressing up through the toes. Once you're done, those 10 breaths, and gently making your way on to your back. And bend the knees, let the feet land. And cross your right ankle over your left thigh. And then let your legs fall to the left. Catch your right heel and you can pull that heel closer into the body. Energetically push your right knee away from you and then reach your right arm up overhead, bicep to ear. Should feel a stretch here in all facets of that right front hip. And if you're not, then anchor your right hip towards the ground. It's not gonna touch, but it should increase the sensation. Next time you breathe in, bring your legs back to center. Keep that figure four. Hug the left knee in towards the chest just for a breath or two here, taking that stretch to the underside, the outer right hip. 
maybe a rock from side to side here. And then release, let's switch sides. Left foot over right thigh. Let the legs fall to the right. Grab your left heel with your right hand. You can hold it, you can hug it closer. Push your top knee away and then reach your left arm up overhead and anchor the outer left hip towards the mat. Next inhale, bring those figure four legs back to center, hug them closer, grabbing on to the right hamstring or the right shin. Again, maybe a little rock from side to side. And then release, knees into the chest or happy baby. And then Shavasana or seated meditation, whatever's calling you today. If there's a variation of Shavasana that you'd like to take again, this is your practice, right? Listen to your body, listen to those whispers. We did a lot of front body folding. So if you've got a bolster, you can place that underneath the spine or supported fish pose on two blocks or just lay down flat on your mat. Let your eyes close. Let go of the breath. Let go of any effort.
stay exactly where you are for however long you like. And if you like to join me in closing the practice in a seat, then you just start making moves in that direction. With your hands either resting in your thighs or bringing your hands to prayer in front of your heart one last time. Tuning back in to that internal body, to that connection that's hopefully a little stronger, a little clearer. Take a deep breath in through the nose here. And a full breath out. Thanking yourself for this time, for this practice, this space on your mat today. So much gratitude for all of you. Namaste.